Car. Cars. Cars. Car. Car. Cars. It's like an Amer like it's part of the American culture. Almost everyone has their own vehicle. And here you can have a car at 16. Everybody does. It's like what you get at 16 years old is a car. You know, it's an American tradition. In Johnson City, we don't have um, public transportation. No public transportation. There's no buses here. We don't have any kind of mass transportation. So you have to have a car. People need cars. You need a car. It's a necessity. It's necessary. You cannot go anywhere without a car. Because everything is just too far away. You know, we live in like a wilderness area where like, instead of like going a few blocks to get to the store, you have to go a few miles to get to the store. And there's too much area to cover. It's obvious that car is kind of needed here because it's even designed for this. Like, having all these drive through drive throughs are crazy. But here, you can even find drive through weddings or any food place has drive through drive through pharmacies, drive through ATMs. I mean, anything you can do, you can live in your car, really. But it's really weird that they all have trucks. Big truck? Big trucks. So the most surprising thing here for me was the size of the cars. And here I feel like it's like who we have the big, like the biggest car. It's like a competition. Who needed like who needed this big truck? Really unnecessary. Most of them, yeah, might need them when like you walk on a farm or something like that. But to go to school, seriously, you need a truck. <laughs> At the same time, it's kind of too much, and car is used even at the times when it's not necessary at all. Conception of understanding um, taking a train or just walking down the block, it's impossible. To walk down the block, it means get a taxi, if you can find a taxi, or driving your car. The, the habits of our grandfathers, our grandparents, are not the same of the habits that we have today. We have everything easily. The development of the countries it's helping us in, a, in one way, but in another way. People use cars all the time, even for really short distances. Instead of like 15 minute walk, they will use car just for two minutes. It's not that American people don't know that a walk is good for health or walk is good for so many other stuff. It's just that they don't need it. We didn't have that necessity. Walking is, uh, is very uncommon. <laughs> And it's not only like because they're like so busy and time is money and they want to save time, but because they're lazy. Too lazy. Lazy. Cars are just a big convenience. The car is really convenient. It's true. Even in places like New York where you don't even have to have your own vehicle, people just like the uh, commodity to have one. All of that, that comes from just, you know, Americans are used to comfort. 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 But the answer for me, the answer is, for me, it's, this is America. Everything is huge here. It's American culture. It's, uh, it's just normal, kind of. It makes citizens more dependent of what they have. The United States has a high dependency on oil. So long term, that's something that the United States is lacking very much and that if oil prices turn around and increase in price again, or we have oil um, limitations, then the United States will hurt very badly when it comes to everything because we rely so much, not on mass transportation of trains, system, transit systems, but of semi-trucks and um, yeah, so high fuel consumption with the cars. Every time I see a big truck and I see like a big thing of smoke coming out of it, but when you do see it, you become conscious of it. The U.S. is still a country where, I mean, they, they, try, to, they try to improve, like you will see commercial, but like being green on, on campus, but they're not there yet. <laughs>Like we always say that usually if guys try to like, once you have a big car, 
means that they have a small dick. 